Hey guys, it's Gold Glitter Girl. Jen here with you today. Thanks so much for stopping by. As you can see, I'm going to do a flip through for you today. This is January. We're starting off with 2018. And I'll try to be quick here. Um, as you can see, January 2018 this is my Project Life scrapbook. And I'm just going to take you through my completed pages. I have maybe one or two that are not complete yet. But I really wanted to share these with you. This is my oldest daughter's birthday party. Here she was turning nine. We had a bowling alley. And then we had a cake for her on her actual birthday. And that happened to be the day of the Super Bowl. Eagles and Patriots. And the Eagles won. Yay, Philly. Which is where we're from, even though I'm not a sports fan. And then my birthday and following in March. And we did go to Mexico that year and we celebrated in Mexico, which you'll see in a second. That was my birthday dinner. And there's Kayla for her class picture, 2018. And here's our Mexico. Uh, pocket pages the girls really enjoyed that trip and then this page I just did recently I thought it was super cute yeah I forget the collection I use I think that was the um, simple stories garden vintage along with some other ephemera. That was my little one who fell asleep after a long day of sun with her little dolphin there that we bought at the gift shop. And that's um, something she made for me for Mother's Day. And moving on, the next page is Easter. And I believe that top one there in front of the flower was Disney. Went to Disney in the same month. And here we go, Mother's Day. Daytona Beach. Some pictures in the classroom. And um, you might have seen that layout already. That was a challenge page, I believe. I'm not sure for what. Some of you might recognize these pages already. I think maybe this was Jan's Crazy Life. Um, I think maybe she did a Summer Girls Challenge. This was one with using only washi tape. As you can see there. My husband's 50th birthday. We're at a party. I'm being silly. And then some pool stuff. The girl spent a lot of time in the pool that month. Oh, and of course it fell out. Project Life cards. There's my little one jumping into the pool. Well, there I am. Lots of selfies. Lots of fun in the sun. And those are some of the best pictures to take because they're fun and they're easy and they're quick to document. And having some friends over. There's Kayla and her dad in the pool. Lots of summer pictures. I can't believe this was almost two years ago. But I'm glad I'm finally getting to share it with you guys. Life is better in the pool. That's a, I believe that's a Project Life card. They're all, there's a mix of, mix of collections in these pages. I don't use, I don't use just one collection on one uh, layout. 
just different stickers and different things, whatever I can find in my stash usually. Sometimes I pick a specific collection to highlight if it's new or something, but usually I, I might do a little mixed media as you can see on those top two cards. Use my Tim Holtz spray inks. And that was a day at Disney. And then there was a soccer game in there as well. And some camp pictures. Oh, and that little sticker must have fallen off. That top one of me and my daughter was on the train in Disney World. Some more Disney, some pool stuff. That was one of those um, trampoline places. My daughter did the, the high rise one. <laughs> where you walk on the cables, so that was fun. They both did it actually. One was the high rise, one was the one on the ground. And then we move over to September. Start of fall. And that I covered, that's a friend of hers and um, I just didn't, didn't know if she wanted to be uh, on YouTube. <laughs> There she is. We did a um, a green screen type of thing on the app, and I gave her green hair, and she was being goofy. So I um, snapshot, screenshotted it, excuse me, and stuck it in there. We still laugh about it today. And there was more pictures. Magic Kingdom, of course. I think um, October we had taken a week and did a week down in uh, down in Disney. That's also a Disney photo. That was one I put on my channel recently that you might have seen, the purple one. And there's some hidden, hidden journaling in that tag there. And there's my daughter and pumpkin patch, of course. The cute little tag we made for fall. That was also a challenge video. I forget which one that was, but um, it's probably on my channel. If you wanna go back through and look for fall tags. Pumpkin patch. That one's on my channel as well. Oh no, that one was drawing a live, I believe. That is my daughter and her friend um, at school at a uh, chunk or treat event. Uh, that page there at the heart still has to be completed, of course. And this was trick-or-treating and a Dunkin' Donuts event, a grand opening we went to. And that's some more Disney stuff, Medieval Times. I'm sure some of you recognize the little crowns. That was fun. That was the first time my girls had been to a Medieval Times. So they really enjoyed that. And some more um, Halloween type stuff. And my little one was, uh, I believe, Elsa. I'm sorry, Anna. She was Anna that year. So it's a mixture of Disney and Halloween for October. Another cute layout for her. And that one I know is on my channel. That I believe was uh, one of Dawn's challenges for Christmas in July. So you can go back and look at that one. That was a fun one to create and that's just a Christmas card. And there's some things in there that I want to uh, document as well. So don't look at that. <laughs> and here we go, here's December, more Disney castle all lit up at night. Oh, such, such a pretty castle. I always love taking photos of that. Some family photos. There's Milo. Little doggy Milo. Family photos. That was a Christmas event that we went to. Again, you might have seen some of these if you watch my channel regularly. That shadow with the little hat on, me and my daughter being goofy. And let's see. 
Christmas morning, opening the gifts, my nails, of course. Super mom, that was on a gift that I received. That was just part of the packaging. I actually have the little keychain on my on my ring. Oh, falling out. There we go. Christmas party. Just goofing around. I'm my husband eating the turkey leg at Christmas. And then these are how I document, um, not document so much as uh, store my past Christmas cards. I put them on like a little layout, glue them down. Don't want to show those, some of those people that have children <laughs> and their cards. Um, my daughter made me that card. And anything that I think is super cute that I can't fit in the pocket page, I'll maybe just stick on there on some Christmas paper. And another tag that I made. And this is just kind of like a, an ending page. And that's super cute paper there. And let's do this again next year. I'm almost done with my 2019 album. Then I'll do another flip through for that. Just some Project Life cards just to end the notebook. My dog Shadow, and a little Stay Magical inspiration. There we go. So that's my 2018 year in review there, my Project Life pocket page scrapbook. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I hope I may have inspired you guys a little bit. Uh, I know it took me a while since it's now 2020. Um, but I do work on them as I get some time. And I always go back and refresh them or add to it sometimes. But a lot of stuff was documented. And uh, my girls do like to go back uh, and look through them sometimes. And I have other books as well. So that's not the only book. And that part is 2017. The end of which I think I've shown some of that already. So thanks so much again for watching. Please comment below um, and like, give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy the video. Thanks again, and I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Please go and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much. Bye.